tan. It gets pale. It gets pale. And what what color is it? It's like tan, white. It's that's, white people. That's why they said call them white devils. Mm -hmm. Because when they came back out of the hills, everybody was white and they couldn't understand. All these black people and then the white people start showing up like, what is all? That was him bringing his people out. And every time they came down, they did some evil shit. Evil. They did some evil shit and they go back up to the hills. They'll do some more evil shit and go back to the hills. So we knew to stay away from the white people. But we are so nice in time. We wanted to know. We was curious. Well, why Why do we hate these people? And then when they gave us some head, it was so evil. We was like, nigga, I love this bitch. Because the black girl was just playing with the dick. But them white bitches, they was like, ah, and you shoot nothing 50 feet. You're like, ah. Now you're like, fuck this bitch. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> And she was peaceful and kind, but evil as a motherfucker. motherfucker. She had something in her heart that would tear your whole soul yes. up. And now you got cancer at the bones. You don't even know why. And you dying. You ever know a black man give a white woman, he always die first? And nobody never paid attention to that. Never. Never paid attention. Every time a, a black man give a white woman, he die first. He was too happy. He was too peaceful. She was too evil. She was so evil and good, she made him die. She, he needed some fire. He needed somebody saying, bitch, get your ass up, motherfucker. Because the fire is what keep you going. That's why old people live long. Mean old people live long because they, they stay with that fire. Say, no, nigga. I'm going to be up early in the morning talking shit. My grandma was 105. She's been talking shit since 1976. Nigga, and the bitch is still talking shit. She get on the phone right now. Joe, you got that bitch. You stole your brother's clothes. You on drugs. I'm like, bitch, I ain't never did a drug in my life. And I was still clothes. Joe got little clothes. Joe is on drugs. Joe's fucking asses. Not me. But they trying to make me the nigga. But in the end, I try to tell people stuff for your good. I try to tell you stuff for your health. Do you want to prosper? Do you want to live? It's not about money. It's the root to all evil. It's about life. If I put a $100 bill on the dashboard, if you don't pick it up, she don't pick it up. The wind don't blow it. It don't move. So money don't make the world go round. People always made the world go round. Trade, hands, goods. They just put this stuff money here so you can get up. You was lazy. Niggas was sitting around hustling like, man, all I gotta do is kill a lion. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta do nothing no more. Cause we just wanna chill. All we wanna do is chill and smoke and kill some chill and smoke. That's all niggas wanna do. That's what we still wanna do today. But they won't let us. They making us have jobs and all this shit. But niggas was designed to just go kill their food, chill and eat. The white man came here and started putting all this other shit and land and running and doing all this shit and killing Indians and killing everybody because they evil. This shit is evil. All this running around for what? We don't need to do all this running around. Everybody doing this and they going nowhere but to hell. But we can't see it because we are, we doing all this running and you ripping and running, blah, 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 you doing this. You can't even see your real life. You didn't even realize all you needed was food, water, and shelter. You didn't even know life was simple. But it seems that you stressed out over Christmas because you ain't got gifts. You wanted to do all this. Christmas ain't that. Nigga, we was living around huts, sucking dicks and weaving baskets and hunting. We need to go back to that. Your job is to suck a dick, weave a basket, and let me hunt. And because you won't do that, and because we're not doing that, we're living in a society of foolishness. We live in a society of government. Who is a government? Have you ever seen, have, have any of the government ever been in your house to help you? Hell motherfucking no. But they give you some government assistance, and they say we helping you. That didn't help you. You took that shit and gave it away. You sold your food stamps, and you spent all the money. And then you was broke on the third. You got it the first, you broke on the third. I tell everybody, by the eighth, everybody's broke. And when I go to everybody's house on the eighth, I go to everybody's hood. They don't even know why, because I want to see my right. How much money you got? We broke. What you got, dude? We broke. What you got? And I've been telling them to say, won't nobody listen to me. They still go out and spend. Dokers, quit buying them J's. Why would you buy J's? You an ugly nigga. Just be ugly. Quit trying to be pretty. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I'm ugly. I'm going to be real with it. I'm an ugly black nigga with a gap. Yeah, but in, the, in other people's eyes, this is what I am. I got a gap. I'm black. I'm dark skinned. I'm ugly to people. Some people, ooh, this nigga think he cute. He ugly. I've had bitches say that to my face. Ooh, you ugly. I bet you this dick ain't ugly. <laughs> I bet you this money in my pocket ain't ugly. I bet you the pretty dick is broke. Huh? I bet you ain't living comfortable, bitch. So I may be ugly. It's okay. But when you come to my house, it's pretty. When you come into my life, it's so beautiful. So I, I may be ugly, but my life is beautiful. My light is beautiful. God has blessed me with a beautiful light, and it draws his people to me. And you come to me to listen. You come to me to see what words do I have to give. Why are you in this car today, girl? I'm asking you, why are you in this car today? To hear the word. But really, I mean, is that what brought you here? Mm -hmm. Someone just said, I want to hear the word. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious, what made you come? Because I want to know. 
but it scared me when you said I want to come. I said, girl, and I, I was, you know, say I was playing, but I was scared because I'm like, do you know what I'm about to do to you? And you was like, uh, yeah, but I'm ready to get in the car. So if you're ready to ride, you can sit with me. You might make it in, huh? If you can sit with me, you might make it in, because I'm nothing but the pure in heart shall see God, and my heart has been pure a long time. A long time I've been giving and doing for people. That's all you know me for. I can go in anybody's hood, anybody gangbanger, sit right there and talk to him. The biggest killer, dope dealer, I can talk to him. The biggest, everybody's preachers say that, but they scared to go to some hoods. They ain't going to the east side right in the middle of the jungle. I go right in the middle and go in your house. And be like, hey, what we eating? They be like, oh, that's my nigga. Ah! <laughs> and then everybody's shocked, like, hold up, we thought you was going to die. Then he killed Jesus. And they ain't going to kill me. You know what's going to kill me? These hating ass niggas not understanding. Bitches like that that's sitting on the house with their feelings hurt from the truth. That's what gets you killed. Because maybe I said it wrong. Maybe I should have had a better tongue. But when you're doing evil to my people, I don't got no tongue. I got nothing but harsh, beautiful words for you, you evil bitch. How you sit here and be so evil? And that's what I asked her. She couldn't even answer none of my questions. Did you see that? Look at him. Did you not see that, Larry? Did you not see the look in her she, eyes? I don't think she knew that you was talking to her. But I looked at her in her face. Mm -hmm. And I stopped and I said, I'm talking to you. So I didn't mistake and say, I'm preaching. He I said, body, I, body, I turned, I looked and right at her. Like, I didn't move. I'm popping my head, I'm pointing, and I'm saying, you. I didn't point to you. I didn't point to her. I went straight to her face. Because people want to talk behind your back. People want to talk on the side of your face. I said, look at me. You, evil bitch. Did I not say that? Did I not tell her what she was doing and what her intentions was? Now, is she doing that or not? Because I could, I could have made that. You know, that'd be the funny shit. I made that all up. <laughs> and she was really a good person. And, <laughs> and, and I just... I just went, in went in on her. I just went in on her. She was, you know what I'm saying? See, that'd be the funny part. Yeah. But it wasn't funny because she did not deny nothing. She did not stop nothing. She let me say every wrong thing in the book and she just sit there. That's what guilty people do. That's a sign of guilt. When you can't defend yourself with your words, you are guilty. Two bitches could not defend themselves. All they had to do was say something. They could have said, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga. You's a whole faggot ass nigga. Anything to defend themselves. But they couldn't. Their words was muffled. You know what she told me? You have a good day. I said, you have a blessed day. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah, in the car. Now. Yeah, yeah, the one in the car. car. She's like, you have a good day. I read her lips. Yeah, I said, I'm going to. the window? I'm like, yeah, cause wasn't done talking. She, no, I wasn't at school. Oh, she was mad. You yeah, and that's going to be a mad trip for Christmas. The whole Christmas is going to be mad. Yeah, the truth. They going to L.A. spend their Christmas? Who cares? But all I know is <laughs> uh, she going to think about she wanted a baby, and how did I know that? Oh, Joseph told you. No, Joseph didn't tell me nothing. God told me. You're not going to have a baby until you stop being evil and bringing evil into the world. Yeah, but I ain't saying nothing. Nobody said nothing to me. I don't. Nobody said nothing to that girl. Do you, you want to hear something crazy? You know why I went in like that? See, we got... Nobody knew this about her and me. We got past history. I watched her have a man and his son sleeping on the floor in the dark with no food in the refrigerator. 